An interesting yeah. fact that I tried to look up for this and couldn't find the paper is that most heart attacks occur after a meal, post prandial really? deal. And it would make sense that if you go out and, you know, eat a big container of French fries, you're going to get a big delivery of oxidized fats directly into your circulatory system. Right. So uh, a couple of things I don't think we've said explicitly, but I want to say them and just you, you can add to this. So everything that we've talked about depends on diet, the, the composition of your diet, the level of seed oils you're eating basically. Right. Well, that's, that's the problem with the model is once you start rigorously trying to understand it, it's got holes and contradictions and inconsistencies in it that make, you know, the whole story fall apart. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, cardiovascular disease is not genetic primarily. Right. Cardiovascular disease has had a massive increase over the 20th century across different countries, depending on how their diets changed and when. And the primary component of the industrial diet that's been shown, which is the diet that's been shown to increase heart disease, the primary component that has been shown to be involved in that increase in heart disease is the linoleic acid from seed oils. And, so and it would behoove you, I think, to alter your diet accordingly. Sounds like your view would be, well, no, LDL is not bad cholesterol, period. Oxidized LDL is bad cholesterol. 